Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be filming part 15 of giving advice to K-pop idol wannabe series. This has been an ongoing series, I just kind of took a little break because I was filming so many other videos, but it is finally here. This series is closed so you can no longer hand in your videos, but if you want evaluations and K-pop idol wannabe tips, you can join Patreon for that. I have a video on Patreon where I explain how Patreon goes, and I just explain everything about Patreon. So let's get on to the video. colors are quite unique she has like nice vocals but one thing I would say is to improve your Korean pronunciation a bit although it isn't like really bad I can still understand what you're saying it just needs a bit of improvement to sound absolutely fluent because you don't want to show any floats flaws to the judges these things you want to hide and show your strengths instead of your flaws which is why I usually don't recommend popular k-pop songs Korean songs I would usually go for at least vocals I would go for non k-pop songs non Korean songs so it's easier for you to pronounce but I don't recommend doing it in your mother tongue language whatever it is like unless it's English I don't really recommend going for that um, because usually they look for Korean English maybe Chinese and Japanese not usually but maybe that's kind of like the four languages they usually look for also this section of the song that you chose, like the beginning of the song, doesn't necessarily show your vocals well. It's barely showing your vocal potential. So, For example, if you're really good at singing high notes and you can hit them very easily and it doesn't sound like your voice is strained, then go for the like end of the near the end of the song where there's a high note or choose a song where the high notes are in the chorus for example, I Can't Stop Me. It's really hard to sing that song without feeling strained, without feeling like like you're just kind of pushing those high, no high notes out there which isn't something you should do so those are kind of like the recommendations I have I'm not entirely sure if you can hit high notes or low notes so kind of go for the songs where it highlights your voice as a whole instead of just the not so special not so unique because in that case you wouldn't stand out I do have a video about standing out and I think it is something that you need to see because like taking advantage of your unique vocals is so important. Next person. person necessarily doesn't have a great Korean accent which is why I would recommend choosing like an English song and with this kind of song you did choose it well and sorry you did choose it well in terms of, of the song choice because it does have those high notes it does have that kind of vocal power that you need in order to hit these notes but also carry the song it needs a lot of vocal power so I would recommend choosing an English song that really has power um, I can't really think of one right off the top, but anything that suits your vocal color as well, which I think right now is powerful, strong, that kind of vibe you want to go for. Also, I'm not sure if the vibrato is purposeful in the middle of the song, but if it is purposeful, I would try and watch a few more videos, just like YouTube videos about vibrato and how to kind of control that. So it doesn't sound like you're like nervous because when you do vibrato wrong it sounds like you're kind of shaking and you're nervous and you don't want that right confidence is key i hate to say it but it is key um it's like really cringy confidence is key but you know it is important and you don't want to sound like you're just nervous so that's why your voice is kind of shaking but you want to see that your vibrato also has power because when it's when you're trying to do vibrato power is so important it's kind of what carries the entire vibrato 
So it sounds like you're really improving your vocal techniques. So the last part I think is my favorite. It, it, I like when it goes up and down. It suits your vocals well. So just try and... I have no clue what the heck happened there. It went from like a warm tone, which was the rest of the room, and then into a cool tone, and then suddenly changed back, so that was kind of scary anyways. Either improve your Korean pronunciation or choose an English song. It's really one of the two. I would say that your pronunciation is a bit worse than the first person, just because... Who knows, maybe this pronunciation is harder, maybe you didn't listen to the song enough, which sometimes is a problem when you don't listen to the song enough, you kind of don't get a sense of what you need to say in the song, how you can kind of show your emotions through singing. So since I see that a lot of people are lacking their pronunciation, let's give you some three quick pointer things that you could work on your pronunciation. Firstly, watch a lot of Korean dramas, any movie that has Korean in it, so you get used to the pronunciation. If you think you're a bit more advanced than that, you're familiar with the language, and you have a slight understanding of what they're saying, then you should take off the captions so you really kind of gain context clues to understand what they're saying because when you just depend on the captions, the subtitles I guess, you start to rely on that and you're just reading the English, right? That's just improving your English, not your Korean. So you want to take off those captions. Once you're a bit more familiar, if you're just beginning, just read it with the captions. So maybe just like only listen to the audio, like watching Korean YouTube videos, those are fine too. And then the second one is to listen to Korean songs, kind of similar, and try to learn the lyrics. Not romanize, but listen to how the artists pronounce them, and kind of copy that. Copying is honestly what gets you. Even when you're just starting to sing, you want to copy the, some kind of artist so you kind of sound like them, right? You're not going to immediately find your vocal technique, your vocal style from the start without any help, without any inspiration from artists so that's kind of a similar thing and number three is to don't romanize don't romanize i already explained this in the in the number two but romanizing is so harmful it doesn't get you familiar to korean alphabet which is a whole different thing from english i know some i don't know asian countries have romanized versions of their text but koreans do not have that okay so don't read romanize so you don't want to be like annyeonghaseyo you want to actually write annyeonghaseyo you gotta practice writing that. If you are trying to learn to write or read Korean, that's what helps. I really actually like this and it shows your potential very well. Because you have long limbs, you're using that to your potential and using that to make your dance look a bit more extravagant, I guess. But one thing I would say is that some parts, I think when you're like putting your leg out and then your arm out, the rhythms aren't exactly correct. So try this a bit slowly. It's kind of hard when you're like floating in the air and then you have to do it slowly, right? But try it slowly, even if it's just like the minimum bass dance where you're kind of just not trying but trying. and Follow it with the slowed version of the music so you can kind of gain a sense of how you're dancing to the beat, on the beat. Because when you're slow, it sounds very unprofessional, or it looks very unprofessional. And it looks like you're not really prepared for the choreo, which definitely is not the case for you. But it can kind of decrease the quality of the dance cover or the dance that you're doing. Also, I would try kind of focusing on yourself a bit more instead of the background because when you show your face more, it shows your expressions. And with expressions, your dance, your singing looks a bit more emotional. It sounds like you're really putting in more work to the dance and the singing and you're more passionate about it, I guess, instead of just filming your dance because dance isn't just about dance. It's also about how you portray your dance moves, how you portray these kind of emotions into the song. and. Those things a lot of people overlook, which I think is the problem for a lot of people who kind of look emotionless while you're dancing. So I would really just push to work on that. I think I just remembered something. I think you left the faucet running. Now I'm more to fill in up the top. Darling, you're just soaking in it. But I know you'll get out the minute. 
You notice all your fingers printing up I'm tired of being careful Tiptoe Trying to keep the water warm Let me under your skin Okay, so this is a song that I definitely would not recommend because you're kind of like sing talking. Why, by that I mean you're not showing any of your singing potential, but it just kind of sounds emotionless. You're just kind of, you know, singing for fun. Like it's kind of like humming. You're doing the bare minimum of singing. And with these kind of songs, you can't show your emotions. You can't show your vocal potential. You want to find something that suits your vocal techniques better. So just think of one thing right now that you are really great in, in terms of vocals or dance or rap, whatever you do, just find something. For example, singing could be you're good at vibrato. For dancing, it could be you have really clear and crisp moves. For rapping, it could be your speed or your clarity of words. Whatever that may be, just think about that. And then think of a song, just, just think of any song that has that kind of technique in it. So maybe a song that has a lot of vibrato and you could use that vibrato in the song. Vibrato doesn't match that song, you want to kind of go away from that. And think of a dance where your dance can be really looked as clear and crisp. And think of a rap that has really, really fast pronunciation or clear pronunciation where you could just share that, share that talent of yours. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. You're sharing your talents, you're sharing your potential to the judges so that they can choose you and think, wow, this person really stands out. This part of her dance is really, really good. I think we should choose her. That's what they're going for. If you're just kind of meh, they're going to be like, oh, just another auditioner that doesn't really stand out to me. The same song, the same vocal technique, that sort of thing. You want to go away from, right? Because you want to stand out. You want to be unique. Unique. <laughs> that is it for this video. I haven't filmed my series in forever, like I said, because I had so many things coming. If you guys would like evaluations like this, except a bit more detailed and definitely longer, you can join Patreon for that. Um, I am planning on making like a season two. I don't know. I have like 18 episodes planned right now until episode 18, sorry, not 18 more because right now this is 15 so I have like three more planned and yeah, I, yeah, that's it. If you're new here, please do subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.